What's up? <clears throat> in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create hotspots inside of images that will be linked to an external URL or internal if you like. As you can see, I've already made an image map and I'm going to run through the exact steps that I went through to create that. Here we have an image uh, of Dubai and we have the uh, man made islands right here. So say I want to link to maybe a better image or a street view or something of this particular area you're going to go in your properties for the image and you're going to give the image map a name so in this case I'm just going to say map name you click enter and you see that right here it says use map and then it says map name. After you do that you will see a rectangle hotspot tool, a circle hotspot tool, and a polygon hotspot tool. And I'm going to show you how to use each one of these. So first click on the polygon and go inside of your image and start to click around the image that you want to make a hotspot just like this and you saw that it popped up with a warning um, when I first started doing that that warning was basically saying to set up your alt properties inside of that particular hotspot and I'm just gonna type something in for that and you can also set a, a link here I'm just going to make it to google.com, you know, even though uh, it's not where I really want it to go, it's, it's a sample of where it needs to go. And you can also set your target. So think of this almost as a little link inside your image. So now I'm going to do a similar thing to these other three man-made islands. This time I'm going to use the circle hotspot tool and I'm going to create a little circle around this and it says exactly what I said in the last one make sure you put uh, some alt text in there and I'm just gonna leave the link the same and I'm gonna say target is blank I'm gonna use the circle hotspot tool again and you can see that it's not exactly over the whole area that I want to link so I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna click on this little pointer so we can move it around. There we go. And I'm going to do the same thing except this time I'm going to use the rectangle hotspot tool. I'm going to drag it over. It's going to tell me that the description and the alt will help the visually impaired people. And there we go. And now all you have to do is uh, go back and it's it's there so if you uh, looked at this web page inside your browser then you can see that once you scroll over this particular area you have a hotspot and it's going to take you right to Google it's going to open it up in a new blank tab and this one is not going to do anything because it doesn't have a link but that's exactly how you put hotspots inside images. And uh, thanks for watching this tutorial, and uh, make sure you guys subscribe.